As developers, we're constantly managing entities that are in some sort of a flow. Entities like blog posts, multi-step user registration, and even user interface elements can exist in multiple states, and we're the ones responsible for making sure that they're always in a valid state. If something unexpected happens in those flows, it can cause bugs, which can cause us to lose clients. Thankfully, our industry has decades of research and thought into the best ways to manage these flows by using finite state machines. In this video, we'll discuss what finite state machines are and how to code them in PHP 8.3 Release Candidate 5. Hello developers and welcome to the PHP Architect channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Scott Keck Warren. On this channel, we discuss a wide variety of topics related to the PHP ecosystem. Make sure you're subscribed so you can get our latest videos as they're published. In our previous video, we talked about what finite state machines are. And in this video, we're going to discuss how to write them in PHP 8.3. A finite state machine is an abstract model that can be in exactly one of a finite number of states. Finite state machines move from one state to another based on some kind of input in what's known as a transition. When we define a finite state machine, we do so by defining the list of states, the finite state machine's initial state, and then the transitions. In this video, we're going to create a finite state machine for a blog post state as it travels through a publishing flow. A post will start out in a draft state, and when its author is ready for their editor to review that article, they will mark it as ready for review. The editor can either send it back to draft to get more updates, or schedule to be published. Then, when the published data occurs, the state automatically would switch to published. But before we can start on that, we have to discuss enumerations. PHP 8.1 added a bunch of new features, and enumerations are by far my favorite. Enumerations, or enums for short, allow us to define a new structure, much like a class, but that can only hold a set of allowed values. They're a very powerful structure for modeling all kinds of domain logic, including finite state machines. We can create an enum to model our published states using the code on the screen. The case keyword is used to distinguish what the valid values are for our enum. We can define each of our states for our finite state machine as a different case. At a very basic level, we can assign an enum value to a variable. Enums also have the added bonus of allowing us to define them as the type of a parameter to a function to prevent bad data from coming into that function. Now, you might be thinking, couldn't I just use a string or an integer to keep track of my values? The short answer is that you could, but by using enums, we're given an extra level of type safety. For example, without enums, we might use some class constant to keep track of our valid states. When we need to reference these states, we're using strings, so our function declaration might look like the following. Now the problem with this is that we can pass any kind of string into the new state parameter and we'll be in an invalid state. By using enumerations, we automatically get two bonuses. The first is that we have the parameter defined as a published state and not a string, so our IDE is going to give us more helpful code completion tips. The second is that we're going to have a runtime check, and if we're using a static code analysis tool like PHP Stan, even before then, to make sure that we don't pass an invalid enum value. More about finite state machines after this word from our sponsor. PHP Storm is a cutting edge IDE tailored specifically for PHP and web developers. If you haven't used it before, or it's been a while since you last tried it, now's the perfect time to check it out. PHP Storm has recently received significant performance enhancements and has an ever-expanding feature set. Now, I'm a recent convert to PHP Storm and I love it. One of my favorite features is the ability to rename a class and have PHP Storm find all the references and just automatically fix them for us. Curious to see if it's the right fit for you? Head to jetbrains.com slash phpstorm to learn more and try it out with a free 30-day trial. Code smarter, not harder. Now, one of these small problems with creating finite state machines using enumerations is that we need to find some way to represent our state outside of the enumeration. Ultimately, we're going to need to store our state in some sort of a persistence layer. So we need to be able to have a way to convert our enumeration into a scalar value. There are two main ways to do this. The first option is to use integers. Integers are an ideal solution because when we store them in the database, they're quick to insert, search, and update. Their downside is it's hard to quickly convert an integer into a state without doing some sort of a lookup, or if you're lucky enough to have memorized all of the state variables. The other option is to use strings. Strings are a little less ideal from a database perspective, 
because they're slower to insert, search, and update. However, they're a lot easier for us to read, so I'll be using them for this video to make sure it's easier for you. To apply our chosen representation to our nums, we can convert our num to what's called a backed num because it's backed by a scalar value. You can also use the integer version if you're so inclined. PHP has some great logic built into its enums that will help us from making a mistake. When we're using a backed num, we must create a unique scalar equivalent for all the values. If we duplicate a value or skip a value, we'll get errors instead of allowing us to continue. As someone who has accidentally created duplicate public constants in the past, this is very helpful. And now that we've defined our scalar equivalents, we can grab it using the value property. When we need to get from our scalar value back to our enumeration, we can use the from method. This will take the string or integer value and convert it back to an enumeration. If a value is passed that doesn't match one of our defined values, we'll get an error. In order to make this safer, enumerations allow us to use the try from function that will return null instead of throwing an error. Now, before you start writing a lot of code to handle all these conversions from enumerations to databases and back, a lot of object relational managers have support or are adding support to automatically convert database values to enums and back. So check your documentation to see if it's already doing the heavy lifting for you. Now that we've associated values with our enum, we can tackle the issue of validating our transitions. Now, we could keep all of this logic inside of our blog post class, but it would be better if we could locate it close to where we define our states inside of the published state enum. Thankfully, enums can contain method. To start, we'll add a check to our update status function to make sure we have a valid transition and throw an exception if it's not. Now we can add the function to the published state to support this. After a little bit of elbow grease and maybe a lot of head scratching, we've derived at a basic but fully functioning finite state machine written using native enumerations in 8.3. Our code is fairly easy to read and maintain, and we can easily create new enumerations for new finite state machines without too much trouble. As a brief recap, finite state machines are a way to represent state in an entity. We can use PHP 8.1 support for enumerations to build a finite state machine. I hope you enjoyed our video. If so, make sure you subscribe, comment, share, and like as it does help others find us. Are there topics you'd like to see me cover? Let us know in the comment section below or send me a message on phpc.social at Scott Keck Warren. This is Scott Keck Warren for the PHP Architect channel signing off and reminding you to keep watching, keep coding, and keep reading. Thank <laughs> you.